Hi, everybody. It's Faith from Fire Saint Tara. I hope everyone is well. Leo. It's time for your May reading. This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It resonates with you. Cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you may want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. No difference. The cross-watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside and Table Table. Everybody's always welcome. And I appreciate you stopping by today. Thank you so much. Before I do the invocation and get your cards on the table, Leo, there's two things we got to go over. One, never make any life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. Just don't do it. It's not a good practice. It really isn't. Um... Uh, on a side note, I just want to throw this out there because I, and Leo, don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way. <sighs> Years ago, I had a tarot reading done. I was visiting um, my god sister down in Detroit. Went to the corner shop, had a tarot reading done. Lady reading the card says, because in that moment in time, I was torn between two Leos and she's writing something down and doing my numbers and she's like you should not play with leos at all it's just not a good idea for you so a couple of years later i married one and then i realized she was right but anyway there's neither here nor there don't make any life altering decisions based on a tarot reading two if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. That's how fights get started, and that's how I get hate mail. I'd rather not get hate mail. Okay, so, Leo, Heavenly Father, Mother of Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you again for coming and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Leo to their highest possible spiritual good and put him on their highest possible spiritual path. Leo, why are you here? Three of Cups reversed. Are you kind of disconnecting with friends right now? Could potentially be leaving a third party situation behind. I don't know. We'll see if any more threes get down on the table. I don't usually like going there, but it's the first thing that popped into my head. And usually when it's the first thing that pops into my head, it's right. So let's just see what the rest of the cards have to say. The world reversed. Oh, wow. I'm convinced now. There's a retrograde coming up. Uh, I want to say it's like the 29th of May that Mercury goes back into retrograde. But and for those of you who don't have a clue what that means, there's a laundry list of things you you can you, know, you can look it up online. There's plenty of resources to tell you what Mercury retrograde is and what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. But one of the big things with Mercury retrograde is old flames come back to try to reignite. Just throwing that out there. This world reversed could have been from last retrograde. I don't know. It's the past. Could be distant. Could be recent. I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm just throwing down cards, guys. The devil reversed, but whatever it was, it was toxic. You released yourself from it. Could have something to do with this third party situation going on up here. And or disconnecting from friends. Let's not go to the absolute negative. First blush. Okay. Empress reversed. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, Leo. I don't like it. Are all the cards going to be upside down? Not all of them. Hmm. It comes up, comes out upside down. That's how I meant to read it. So, no hope for growth. Nothing birthing. Nothing happening. It wasn't meant to be. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Someone or something becoming rather impatient in the future. Three of Wands, but still waiting. Oh boy. Let's get from the bottom of the deck, Leo. Nighty Cups. Impact of Cups. 
<laughs> I'm laughing and chuckling because it has to do with retrograde. In this particular deck, yes, she is depicted as a female, but insert whatever pronoun works for you, okay? It's the energy coming off the card is what matters. There's a giant cup of love there. She loves giving that giant cup of love, and she's just as prone at dumping it. They ride in, they turn on the waterworks, they make the heart go thump, 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 and then they ride off again sometimes. It just be like that sometimes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Five pentacles. Something came back around again because it missed you or you missed it. I mean, this all can be vice versa. Well. Six of Wands, you disconnected from something toxic. You had your victory dance. Or you dis you disconnected from something toxic and it came riding back in anyway, thinking it was going to get its victory dance. What's it going on in the here and now with this Empress reversed? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Nope. You're like, nope. This ain't going to go anywhere. I want no part of this. This is not helping me do what I need to do and build what I need to build and stack what I need to stack. You're not going to turn my house upside down. You go, Leo. You go. The moon. But. But, 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 but. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Impatience. Things not fruiting. And the moon comes into play in the gears start going in your head and you start to wonder what if why the moon brings in those questions that can't be answered or that you don't want answered the moon the moonlight has this weird way of skewing perceptions because things never look the same in the moonlight as they do in the sunshine Leo, this is a caution to not let your impatience get away with you. Three of Wands upright with a Four of Swords reversed. Restlessness. Restlessly waiting. For what? This is where we get clarity. Okay. Are you restlessly waiting for which ex is going to come back to haunt you next? <laughs> or if this one's going to come back to haunt you again, Leo? I mean, you want to wait for it, go for it. It's not my place. I'm just throwing on cards having a good time. Don't look at me. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2021? Tell me one more. Why are you cut and shuffle if you're just going to let him fly anyway? Because that's how I roll. Don't worry about it. Just let me do my process. Emperor.
could have something to do with an only friend. If I can make words work right now. Could have something to do with an older family member and or father figure. Could. It might. For some of you. That's how this disconnection happened. Someone you thought fondly of. Someone you were taking care of. Or wanted to take care of. And I say that because this particular emperor is just looking on those kids so fondly. He's almost smiling. Almost. Not quite. Almost. Oh, hi. Ten of Pentacles. You know what? It landed right there. I'm leaving it there. We'll get back to that in a second. That tells me that goes right there. So, can I get one on the Knight of Cups, please? Queen of Cups reversed. Somebody's closed off their emotions. The energies can flip flop. Somebody came in with that cup and the other person has closed off the emotions or somebody came in with that cup and there was nothing in the damn cup to begin with. Okay. Hi, you want to talk? I'm going to let you talk, King of Wands. Leo. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Leo. You understand that a king of wands is nothing more than an overgrown knight of wands. Well, the knight of wands all grown up. <sighs> Loves to have a good time. Can be all about confrontation. I'm hearing breaking up and making up. Breaking up and making up. It's what I'm hearing right now. Not quite sure why. Why is the world reversed here? It's that darn pentacle again. It's that darn pentacle again. I want to start over. I want to build a foundation with you. I missed you. Why is the five of pentacles here? Five of Wands, two fives. Breaking up and making up. Breaking up and making up. Is this like a, a, a merry-go-round cycle with you, Leo? We break up, we make up. We start over. Hmm. Come to think, maybe this is why that... that wonderful tarot lady down in Detroit, Michigan all those years ago told me I should avoid Leo's. I don't know. Why is the devil reversed here? I'm just giving you guys crap. You know I love you guys. You're my fire sign brothers and sisters for sure. Let's 
Seven of Cups. Disconnected from something binding or potentially toxic. Explored other options. Maybe you both did. Maybe you both decided to take a step back in the past and explore other options because you knew it was toxic or it was becoming toxic. Somebody comes back in. Not just one pentacle this time, but ten of them. Holy cow. Then somebody's like, no. Leo, I don't know if it was you or them. But there was a game changer. Why the Empress reversed? Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. One right side up, one up. This was abrupt. This was abrupt. I think somebody put all the work in, putting all the work into it, investing, investing, putting in the time, putting in the work, putting in the effort, and the other person was like, nope. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Three cups reversed. Someone may have even been putting all the effort in and disconnecting from friends. P.S. There's my second three. Oh, wait. That was the second three. Never mind. There's my third three. That's even better. And three of cups popped up reversed again. P.S. Hold on. I'm going to say it again. A third party does not necessarily mean someone was being cheated on. Just so I clarify that. The third party is someone who noses in where the nose don't need to be. Getting all up in your business, know what I'm saying? Could have been a friend, could have been a family member. Didn't even have to be a person. Could have been a situation. Why the Ten of Swords? Nine of Wands. Not only did this end abruptly, but somebody put up walls. Somebody put up walls. Why the Seven of Pentacles reversed? Oh, well. Growing impatient with the situation, four of pentacles reversed, four of swords in the upright. Letting go, releasing, laying something to rest because of the impatience. One more on that, please. Okay. They didn't show themselves. We're going to leave them right there because I only asked for one. We'll take a quick peek, put them back in, see if they come back out. Four of Cups showed itself. If 
Five is a transition card. Four is what happens before the transition. Just so we're clear on that. This is a card of contemplation. Three cups have been spilled twice. Releasing it, letting it go, laying it to rest, being impatient with it. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, should I? Just trying to hand him a cup. And he's lulling on the other three cups. Again, insert your pronoun wherever you need to. It's the energy coming off the card. What are you? Five of Pentacles reversed, Page of Swords reversed, Ten of Cups reversed. We'll see if they come back out, but lack of communication, lack of happiness. Somebody's in the doghouse. Mm, wow. Okay. See if they come back out. Let's shuffle those back in real quick. And... All right. Why the moon? Why the moon? Six of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles reversed, High Priest in the upright. And this is where your life lesson comes in. I know usually the High Priest indicates a blessed union and all that happy time. So my's getting married. No, not this time. Nope, he's the teacher. This is your life lesson. How you handle it from this moment on is your life lesson, Leo. This is somebody you've been on the merry-go-round with. More merry-go-round stuff, gosh. And you know, doggone well, how they've treated you in the past. They've spilled your cups. You know this is toxic, but you keep going back for whatever reason. I don't know if it's for the wands. I don't know. I don't know if that's why you keep going back. It's not my business to ask you why you keep going back. It's not my journey. I'm just playing cards, having a good time here, guys. But why do you keep going back? What you do from this point on is your journey, is your lesson. How you handle this. Because this is where you're at now. This is you moving forward. Growing impatient with it. Letting go, releasing, moving on, laying it to rest. Six of Pentacles reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed and the High Priest. There's your lesson. They have not treated you well. They have not been good to you. Probably left you with little to no self-worth. Didn't put in what you did. Why is the three of wands here? The tower reversed. Oh, 
Five four of swords reversed here. The magician reversed. How you handle this is your life lesson. Are you going to continue to play with someone who treats you like garbage? Or are you going to walk away from it for good? It's up to you, Leo. Four swords reverse, magician reverse. That's that's puppet strings. They know what strings to pull. They know what buttons to push. They know what makes you tick. And they know how to get what they want. And they are laying in wait to try to rebuild a tower with you. Let's throw one more on that. Three swords. The heartbreak card. And round and round in the merry-go-round you go. Leo, I love you, but how many times are we doing this reading? I don't know how many times I've read for Leo, and it's been a merry-go-round thing. I don't know. Retrograde's coming up. Do what you're going to do. It's not my journey. Just know that you're loved. It's not my journey. Do, do whatever you want to do. Just know that you're loved and be blessed. Let's get your advice. Hanged man reversed. Seven of cups reversed. Don't let someone put you up in the hangman gallows and get all emotional and steer you away from the path that you're supposed to go down. But you said there's no such thing as a wrong path. Uh, yeah, there is no such thing as a wrong path. So all paths lead to the same place. It's the journey that you take that is your choice. Do you want the Sunday drive? Or do you want the Indy 500? I mean, round and round and round and round and round and round. Personally, I wouldn't mind the Audubon, but you know, still. Just a little bit of a faster roller coaster. Anyway, next. The Wheel of Fortune reversed in the King of Cups. Again with those emotional puppet strings. Just because you love someone and you hold a very large cup for them does not mean you have to keep repeating the same cycle with them over and over and over again. Some cycles just have to come to an end. Eight of Wands upright, Eight of Cups reversed. Oh gosh, I wish this would have been the other way around. I don't even know how to read that. Oh, okay. Strength reversed, two of cups reversed. If you know you can't trust them, don't repeat the cycle. It's best to stay disconnected. So avoid returns with people that you know you can't trust. I mean, do whatever you're going to do, Leo. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Thanks for coming by. Let me know what happens. 
I'm a little tired, and I know, I know, I'm always tired, but I'm going to do my best here. Be kind to yourself, first and foremost. I love you. I will catch you next time, Leo. Thanks for coming by.